everybody, welcome to our kitchen. Welcome to the two sisters. I am Paula Zavala. And I'm Susie Danelon. Welcome. Today we're gonna travel to Spain. We're gonna go, we're gonna make a really nice, fresh gazpacho soup, which we're gonna garnish with cooked shrimp, with some lime and parsley and amazing flavors. So this is a really easy recipe, great for the summer, for the spring. Like this is this is one of those things we should be eating healthy, super healthy and fresh. Yeah, it, for the flavor you'll be amazed how easy it is. It's yeah, and you know what? This is one of those soups that you usually have all the ingredients in your fridge. You put everything in the blender, boom, one, two, three, done. Super healthy and it's a raw vegetable soup. So to start the soup, these are the ingredients. We need four round tomatoes. They have been peeled and seeded. We also need a quarter of a red onion. We need a piece of garlic, one clove, maybe a little bit less. Um, we need red sweet peppers. And we need one uh, cucumber seeded and peeled. We also need olive oil, a really good olive oil. This is one of those recipes that I usually like to have two different kinds of olive oil in my kitchen. I usually have one that is not that expensive that I use for sauteing vegetables, stuff like that. And I also have a really good expensive, like a really good olive oil. For this is worth it. Exactly. So mm -hmm. we're not going to cook the oil or anything. So you need to have a really good one. I also, I'm going to use um, rice vinegar. I know this is not from Spain, but we like this kind of oil. I, I like this vinegar because it's, I know it's a little bit sweet. Um, I love this vinegar. I'm using it's it very often. It's more mild. It's more mild, yeah. But by mm -hmm. all means, feel free to use apple cider, um, white vinegar, whatever vinegar any, you have. Any vinegar you have. Except balsamic. I would never use balsamic for this recipe. Um, and we also need to garnish our soup. We need shrimp peeled, and I just we just dice the shrimp just roughly. We need a little bit of garlic, some parsley, and we are going to use all bay seasoning which is a really good seasoning again this is not from spain this is from the u.s this is from maryland and they just use this for absolutely everything i just love using the old bait try it when you um cook with any seafood it's very exciting to have a new ingredient um i just learned about this not too long ago and yeah. it gives a fantastic flavor even for chicken exactly we also need sea salt and fresh pepper and of course, in this kitchen, before we start cooking, what do we need, Susie? <laughs> Tequila. Oh, yes. You know what? Who doesn't cook with a glass of wine or... Yeah. This is my drink. Exactly. This we is are drink. from we're Mexico. Mexicans. I know. Maybe you cannot tell, but yes, we're from Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> so cheers. Salud, everybody. Let's mm. see. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. This is a really good tequila. It's yeah, nice. Perfect. Yeah, we have energy. Okay, so we're gonna blend everything. This is, um, like I said, in this soup, it's super easy to make. The first step is going to be to uh, peel the tomato. We're going to show you how to peel the tomatoes. So, to peel a tomato, you have a round tomato. So, at the back, you're gonna make a little cross over here. You only need to cut the skin. And then, what the step was, you're gonna cut around. So, you take that off, you go around like this. It's very easy. Take that part out. And I have boiling water over here, so I put my, my tomato in the boiling water. And it's not gonna take long. It will take just a, a 20, 30 seconds, no more than that. So just leave the tomato in here, sorry. Maybe here you can see. And you will not, like you do not want to cook the tomato. You only need to peel it, the tomato. So I don't want it to be really hot or anything. So the inside of the tomato will still be cold or like room temperature. That's it, ready, done. How do I know it's, it's ready? So you can, can you all see how the skin is already almost out over here? Let's turn this off there. And then quickly you're gonna put that in cold water. This is a cold shot of water so then it won't stop the cooking. And now easily you can peel the tomato. I just love this technique here. You see how it is? It is. It just feels so nicely, just like that. Perfect. Just like that. Totally peel. Ta-da! Now you're gonna cut that in half. You cut the tomato like an orange. You cut it in half like this. So I'm gonna take the seeds off. You need to use your hands. That is the best tool ever. You just have to wash them very often. So with your thumb, you take all the seeds out, just like this just like this, super easy. 
and it makes a whole difference. When you make a tomato salad, just peel the tomato. It will take you, I don't know, two, three, five minutes. That's it, done. You need to use your blender. Please use a blender. The food processor is not the same. Is it a great tool, but please do not use the, um, the food processor for this recipe. You need a good blender, and this is an amazing one. All right, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put my tomatoes in here. Just the whole thing. Super juicy, I love these tomatoes. My onion, which by the way, I think this is way too much. I'm just gonna use a bit less. So you know what, yeah. go by eye. When you see a recipe, you are you the You can boss. always taste it and exactly. then add if you want, you add it. Exactly, right? exactly. And like we always say, when you bake, you follow the recipe. When you cook, you are the boss. Yeah, you are the boss. Susie is amazing at arranging recipes and that's, you know what? Don't be afraid, just do it. You yeah. like salt, add more salt. You don't like that many tomatoes, just add less tomatoes. Adjust it to your taste. Absolutely. So a sweet red pepper, you could use any color, but I love to use the red because I like the red color at the end in the, mm -hmm. in the soup. And it's full of antioxidants, good for you. Yes, exactly. My cucumber here and my piece of garlic. We're gonna season our soup with three tablespoons of, like we said, really good olive oil. Two, three. And I'm ready with the salt. Yeah, salt. Don't be afraid, salt gives all the flavor. Yeah, three tablespoons of rice vinegar. There. And freshly ground pepper. It's very different flavor than the already ground. Absolutely, please. Fresh okay. pepper. Okay, perfect. Ready. And we're good. So we're gonna blend everything together. And you see, we didn't use any water, just the olive oil, the vinegar, and all the vegetables. Everything raw. Remember always to taste your food as oh, you're cooking it, preparing it. Always try before you yeah, serve. Yeah, because you might need to add salt, yes, so or pepper, or even onion. Mm. You know what, I think it needs a little bit more salt. Oh, so this is, this is the moment where you season. Mm. Okay, so you add a little bit more salt, and it needs a little bit more. Olive oil. There. Just mix it up with a clean spoon. Yes. And it is very important with this recipe, you really have to chill the soup. So put it in the freeze for a couple of hours. Yes, we're going to chill it. And meanwhile, we're going to get the, the um, shrimp ready, which is the to make it look pretty. Exactly. And to, a little give it a little, top. to give it a little bit more consistency when you, you serve it. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, wait. I think we need another try. Oh. Mm, good, okay. To garnish the soup, we're going to saute the shrimp. And before we saute, we marinate it a little bit with um, garlic, with the Old Bay spice that we talked about, with uh, olive oil, with a little bit of salt, and parsley. So first thing, we I have this already chopped, this, um, Shrimp. When you see um, in the bags when you buy shrimp and it says use 1618 or, or it says 2535, that means that's how many shrimp there are in one pound. Per pound. Per pound. Yes. So if it's like you 16 or you 35, the you 16, that means the shrimp is bigger because there's only 16 shrimp in one in pound. In one pound. Exactly. That's right. So this size is 2126. So it's about this size mm -hmm. so you just cut it up in yeah, just roughly chunks okay then i'm going to press my garlic a little bit of the old spice mm -hmm. old bay just go sorry the old bay yeah. salt olive oil just go by eye it's okay We'll get more. And olive oil is something that oh. should, bear, should be in every kitchen. Absolutely. So good for you. Mm -hmm. I'm just chopping the parsley. Maybe not all of it, like that. Mm -hmm. Gives it a very, very nice flavor. Yummy. Just the smell of the parsley, I just <laughs> love it. It's just so, so fresh. Fresh. 
Okay, so we're just going to saute now. Perfect. And we're almost done. Okay, good. Our gazpacho needs to be eaten cold. It's a cold soup. So we have the bowl in the fridge chilling. While that's chilling, I'm going to saute the shrimp. Very easy. I already marinated it. And with the shrimp, it happens that um, sometimes we overcook it and uh, it doesn't take very long, really. It's maybe seconds even, it's less than a minute. The minute it turns pink, see how it starts uh, turning pink? It means it's uh, cooked. Mmm, the garlic is giving a very, very nice flavor. It also shrinks a little bit. That means it's ready. Well done. All right, so we're ready to plate our soup. Um, the soup mm. is really, really cold. It has been in the fridge for a couple hours. Just leave it overnight, whatever, but it has to be cold, please. Once I left it in the fridge, in the freezer, so just don't forget, because it was, it was like an ice. So don't do that. All right, so my soup is good. Um, now we're gonna put, um, I'm gonna, I like to use a martini glass since you already cook. Listen, just, how can I make it look pretty, right? You don't have to, but you know what? Exactly. Sometimes it tastes better when it looks beautiful. And you even, like I'm already in a party mood. Exactly. Look at this, oh my God. Exactly. And even more beautiful with the shrimp. You put a shrimp on top, as much as you like. Mm. I will put the whole thing for myself. Look at that. Perfect. And then a little bit of parsley. Why don't we just put a bit of parsley in here? So pretty. And maybe some a little bit in here. Uh, you can touch up with a little bit of olive oil on top if you like. A little bit of pepper. And voila! And we need to Let's try it. Try it. Mm. Of with course, a little bit of try. Mm. Mm. Oh. It's good, isn't it? Oh. So good. It says summer. Mm. Okay, so see, I think after our tequila, after a spatula soup, we're ready to dance. Yes, this is party time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, uh,